what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about firebase storage uh, in our past few videos we have seen a lot of stuff about uh, flutter and firebase right we saw how to uh, store and retrieve documents from your fire firestore collections we also saw how to make use of firebase authentication different providers different sign on providers using firebase authentication and uh, and all that stuff right in this video let's see how to store a simple file to firebase storage and retrieve it uh, that's we'll just see upload now okay we'll see how to upload a simple file to uh, firebase storage in this particular video that is we'll be making uh, picking that file from our uh, mobile device and then we'll be uploading it to firebase storage let's see how to do that uh, in this video so first i have a simple application that uh, that i created just now and I have also configured uh, Firebase in this application. You just need to paste Google Services.json, add the project to Firebase console, uh, get the Google Services.json file and paste it here. Obviously, I've made a video on this. I'll post a link in the description uh, to that video. Kindly watch it once before watching this. I, I would recommend you to watch that once before watching this. Uh, just a small change, guys. Do all the configurations and finally, uh, copy this entire code this sub project this entire code and paste it inside your android project build.gradle file as well otherwise it will show up a dependency mismatch error or something like that so yeah do this and uh, then just get into main do uh, get into pubspec.yaml and first of all under dependencies add the firebase storage dependency firebase underscore storage now firebase storage is a completely different product other uh, from uh, firestore okay don't mix both of it it's completely different firebase storage is this one specifically used for storing and retrieving files documents stuff like that firebase storage is for uh, storing uh, data in the form of uh, collections in the form of documents right documents arranged in a collection whereas firebase storage on the other hand is for storing and retrieving files files of different data types right uh, now for this demonstration purpose i'll relent the rules i'll just change the authentication i mean i'll just edit out the authentication rule so that we can skip that part okay it is it's even it will show a error i mean warning i think uh, so now we can without authentication we can simply store and uh, retrieve files from fire i mean anyone can store and retrieve files from firebase storage Okay, after doing that, kindly, uh, I already installed the plugin, I think. Yeah, I already installed the plugin. I'll just close this. Get into main.dart file. Uh, I have left the floating action button as such since I would be using it in this project. But right now, let's, what I'll do is I'll have a button. Okay, upon clicking this floating action button, I'll open up the gallery and allow the user to pick an image. Okay. For that, I'll be making use of another dependency called image image picker. Sorry, image picker. Okay, this is another dependency that will be that we'll be making use of to pick an image from the device gallery. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, take that image and try to upload it into Firebase Storage. Okay, uh, this is installed as well. Now that we have both of those. Uh, we'll use this particular button to trigger that function uh, we'll just have uh, get image okay this is the function that will get the image for us okay and uh, we'll be writing that function over here i'll use a file data type file uh, uh, sample image sample image okay is this under oh we need to import something i think yeah dot dot io and then future uh, get image async and uh, where oh future as well i need to import uh, async library where uh, mm, i don't even need to yeah i need to where temporary image equals await image picker dot uh, oh image picker I did import hmm. 
image picker dot pick image source image dot gallery okay uh, not image sorry not image dot simply image source dot gallery image source dot gallery okay uh, now i need to fine now that i have an image uh, for something for uploading the image this is 10 so this will trigger this and i need to uh, do some basic stuff i'll first show the image the image that i have selected on the screen and then i'll have a button that button will enable allow me to upload that image to firebase storage okay so what i'll do is if there is no image sample image equals null if this condition is true i will simply uh, oh sorry null if this condition is true i will simply do a text uh, select an image okay if this is false i will do a uh, enable upload okay enable upload is nothing but a widget guys and that i'll be creating now oh, inside this widget uh, sorry return container uh, child column inside this i'll simply do uh so children uh, image dot uh, file now i can simply give the uploaded image here sample uh, image file okay uh, i can also specify a height and width height i'll give uh, 300 dot zero width i'll give uh, 300 dot zero cool right then what i'll do is i'll simply um, give a comma here and have a button raised inside this is where i need to uh, write code for uploading this image to firebase storage right so i'll go here and then import firebase storage dot dot now I'll get in here, where is that? Yeah, here it is. This need not be an asynchronous function, right? Uh, final, we need a reference, storage, uh, reference, um, firebase, storage, ref equals firebase dot, not firebase, what was that? Uh, storage dot uh, instance dot reference dot child okay I'll just give a, a random name here you can give whatever name you want and then I'll do a final uh, storage storage upload task task equals uh, a reference of what is it firebase storage reference dot put fi put file file name will be the sample image fine for now let's see how to upload okay this will upload the uh, file to firebase storage right this is done now this will upload this entire thing will be available here whenever we select an image 
so uh, it will just display the image in a uh, neat way in a uh, in this specific dimensions and uh, it will also have uh, provide us a button that will enable us to upload this image onto firebase storage uh, let's run this on an actual device and see what happens all right now that we have our application running on our mobile device let's just try tapping on uh, adding an image and then trying to get the image from the uh, device local file system it asks for my permission i'm just tapping on allow and it shows me the gallery i'll just take in one of my screenshots that i used for my previous post wow it shows that screenshot uh, in a nice way right i'll just tap on this upload button and let's just see if it gets uploaded here you probably should have <laughs> given a alert window or a snack bar or something saying the upload is completed right anyway uh, it would have uploaded by now let's just try refreshing this i'll just navigate to a different tab and then come back here it got uploaded here right as you can see here my image.jpg this is the name exact name that we gave that let's just tap on this i mean click on this and it's the exact same image that we just uploaded from our mobile device right you can see that right so uh, yeah guys this is how you do a simple image upload from your uh, i mean firebase this is how you use firebase storage to upload your images from your flutter applications now you might wonder why i showed this suddenly all of a sudden right going forth i told you guys that we'll actually be transitioning from the basics into actual app development actual mobile app development with flutter right uh, now for the past in the past several videos you have seen uh, all about the basic widgets uh, how to use maps how to use firebase entirely with along with your flutter application and all that now that we know how to use firebase storage as well we just uploaded an image right it's the same way for to upload other files as well but instead of using an image picker you'll need to get the files in some other way that i'll show you probably in a, one of the later videos but it's the same process regarding the upload it's the same process right you can upload anything it may be a storage uh, image or a document or or some other file that you want to you can upload anything to firebase storage and there is some quota on uh, the free plan i think that's it anyway we'll be making use of storage we'll be making use of uh, firestore as well and i'll show you how to build a complete user management system uh, not a user management system how to manage users in any of your applications right in any of your applications you will have a separate authentication system wherein you will sign up new using which you will sign up new users and once the user tries to log in with his account you should be able to provide him with a profile page that will show him his display picture and it will also show him his other details like uh, email and uh, email display name and uh, an option to reset his password right and also a button to log out of that account so we'll see how to bring that complete user uh, user uh, profile feature inside your flutter applications with the help of firebase storage and uh, firestore okay in our forthcoming videos we'll see how to do that that's an integral part of any application right so in our forthcoming videos we'll see how to do that along with flutter so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today if you like this video kindly hit the sub um, thumbs up button show that you like this video so that it will get recommended uh, in flutter search or suggested videos or whatever and uh, kindly if you found this helpful share it with someone and help them too and if you would like to watch more cool stuff like this if you would like to uh, learn to build actual applications with flutter not just basic tutorials actual working applications with flutter kindly subscribe to this channel guys uh, it's free kindly subscribe and hit the small uh, notifications icon the bell icon the small icon once you subscribe it will show up to the right of the subscribe button uh, kindly tap on that uh, i mean kindly click on that to get notified of all my uploads as and when i uh, upload my content so yeah guys uh, this is what i want to show you guys today this is what i want to talk to you guys uh, about uh, i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye